Nityanandam. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Your Presence Hills. This is Ma Nitya Dugananda. Today, I'm recording this video as a continuation, a follow-up video from the last topic that I touched on, which is how to use Vedic solution to improve your sleep quality, getting into deep sleep and get out of the sleep disorder. Today, we are going to explore the second Vedic solution, which is owning the mind. Why do you need to own the mind? So that nobody can give you suffering anymore, so that no suffering can touch you. A mind without suffering is a Vedic mind. You almost need to be very clear every thought that you entertain, that you cherish, should only give you joy and bliss, nothing else. So how to own the mind? You must understand that in the Vedic science, it is said that we have different layers of consciousness, different energy bodies. This is something that I learned from my Guru, Paramahamsa Nityananda, a living incarnation. Now he said that in a human body, there are actually seven energy body. Let me tell you what are they. First, the physical body, which relates to the flesh and bones. Almost the food body, whatever you put into the body, to the five senses, that you feed to the five senses, is called the physical body. The second is the pranic body. The pranic body is the layer that relates to your breath, your breathing. In this layer, it stores all the engraved memories of your, all your desires, whether it is through desire or your borrowed desire. Third energy body is your mental energy body. This layer re relates to your thoughts, your thinking, and it also basically carries the engraved memories of guilt. The fourth energy body is the etheric body. This is the layer of energy body which relates to seven energy, the seven chakras. Now, in this energy body, you basically imprint pain, all the pain, physical pain, mental pain, and emotional pain. The fifth layer is the causal layer. This is the layer where you basically, the same energy body which you fall asleep every night uh, when your consciousness travel to this layer to rest and repair. This is the same energy body which you created the body. This, it is the energy of darkness. Now, the sixth layer energy is the cosmic energy, the energy which imprints all the pleasure and happy memories. The last layer is the nirvanic body. This is the layer of the energy where enlightened masters reside. This is also the bliss energy body. Now, how do we go about uh, every night when we sleep? What happened? The consciousness basically pack up and retires from the physical body all the way to the causal layer. So you need to travel from physical, pranic, mental, etheric, reaching to the causal layer for the repair and rest that it needs. See, our consciousness wants to get back to its original state. After having been out there so much, getting so much uh, attachment, so much stress and so much suffering from the outer world, it just wants to coil back, retire to its original state. So every night when the action of the consciousness coiling back to the causal layer is what we call sleep. Now, as, you, as the consciousness travel through the four energy bodies reaching up the causal layer, it needs to pass through the different energy bodies, whatever samskara, whatever engraved memories, such as tiredness in the physical body or chronic fatigue in the physical body, the desires and the guilt and the pain, all this samskara engraved memory, if the too much been imprinted in these four energy bodies, 
that disturb the sleep. Your sleep get disturbed because of all the too much being seen and attached in the outer world due to all these engraved memories. So the process <clears throat> that we need to work on is to clean up these four energy bodies. In the last video, I mentioned about owning the body through yoga, to proper diet, proper lifestyle. That whatever that you fit to this food body, the hara. Whereas in this video, I'm going to cover the, the other three energy bodies, which is your pranic layer, your mental layer, and your etheric layer. So this is the thing. In the pranic body, we imprint all our desires, whether it's true desire we call prarapta, the, the, the desire that you brought in this body to exhaust, which carries the energy of fulfillment when you actually exhaust this true desire. Whereas there's also another set of desires called the borrowed desire, which means after you land in this body, you acquire desires which is not based on the life purpose or your purpose of birth here. You accumulate more desires because of societal conditioning, because of peer pressure, because of media influence, whatever. That you know, you basically acquire only after you, you assume this body. Now, if you are running your life too much for the borrowed desire instead of exhausting your true desire, your parapta karma, be very clear, you will not have the energy to fulfill all the desires. So part of the process in basically cleaning up your true desire is to basically remove all the borrowed desire, bring clarity, bring integrity to your true desire. There is a process in the Vedic tradition where we work with the breath to really, really understand how you can actually allow the true desire to be revealed to you. Now, next, the mental layer. Now, the mental energy body is the one that basically imprints all the guilt that you carry in this body. What is guilt? Guilt is nothing but a sure killer of intelligence. It's like a wedge you insert it in your consciousness, in your inner space. Guilt is also like judging your past with your updated intelligence, which is foolishness. All you need to do is understand that life is full of lessons. Whatever that you have done in the past were based on your intelligence at that time. And all you need to do is learn from that lesson and move on so that you don't make, this, don't make the same mistake twice again. So there's no need to beat yourself up. Actually, if you were to sum out, guilt is nothing but inner violence, violence against self. So, which is one of the, we call the greatest sin, which is creating guilt. And you should know, in my first video, which I share, that how I created um, the stage 3 cervix cancer, it has a lot to do with guilt as well. So, you can imagine the damage, how the pattern of guilt caused in our life, when you are not aware how to complete and drop the guilt pattern. All those memories of guilt should be completely be eradicated, completed, dropped from your inner space, your mental energy body, so that no more guilt can disturb you, no more guilt can make you feel the suffering. Now, the fourth energy body, etheric body. The etheric body is the energy body which imprints all the pain, whether it's physical pain, mental pain and emotional pain. Now, for physical pain, you, you understand what is physical pain. I let you know what is the difference between uh, emotional pain and mental pain. Emotional pains happen when your trust is abused or you are away from someone you love. Mental pain happens when your ego is bruised 
or you're forced to do something which you do not like. So that creates uh, mental pain, emotional pain. So one of the things that uh, as part of the process in the sleep workshop that I conduct, I help uh, individuals, participants to clean up the four layers of their energy bodies, which is very important in terms of completing them so that these engraved memory leave the system. Uh, it's a process where um, they can actually start become aware of the engraved memory, the samskara, they imprint unconsciously so that they can again bring completion and drop them fully. So imagine when you have the opportunity to clean the four energy bodies, so every night when your consciousness retires, pack up and go back to the causal layer where you start to do is rest, repair and healing. You will have deep sleep. It is only possible in the quality of deep sleep that this healing and repair happens. That is the reason why when you wake up from hours of deep sleep, you feel so alive, you feel that you have a new body. For people who have deep sleep disorder, they are not able to access the causal layer energy body. Either they are constantly in the waking state, even though it is time to sleep, or they are falling into dream state where the thoughts still continues to happen, which means the consciousness are not your consciousness is not able to rest, you know, in its original state. That in itself actually takes away the opportunity for you to have access to the life energy, which is something so natural for all of us. That is the reason why any sleep disorder has to be addressed, because when you don't, you will not only age faster, be ahead of your age, you will also start to fall into mental disorder, whether it's depression, anxiety, panic attack, all kinds of mental disorder will start happening when you are not having the access to the natural process of deep sleep. So I'd like to just end with this video with just uh, some um, words of um, advice when you're working on your mental body be very clear you need to understand that how the minds the thoughts are working inside you what kind of thought pattern that you're cherishing that you're entertaining where you're giving life any negative mental thought pattern or thought current you should Look at it with a lot of ferociousness, micromanaging the, every thought so that it does not give you any suffering or disturbances in the uh, mental layer. So when that happens, you will simply see that you'll be able to fall asleep. Every night when I stretch my legs, I just fall into that state of rest and I go into the causal layer straight away in the state of samadhi. So you can also access that state once you start working on completing with all the samskara, all the engraved memories that you imprinted unconsciously in this body. So with that, I'd like to, to end the video. If you have any questions, any um, doubts that you want to clarify, I'm more than happy to welcome you to write on the comments on this video at the YouTube channel and I'll be more than happy to help you um, in whatever way I can. With that, thank you for listening. Thank you for your attention. Nityananda. Thank you.